Saturday Foursome is brought to you by... Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. Oh yeah. There we go. Like there we go. Hey, tell him to get the trophy ready. Pop, tell him, <laughs> tell him. Go on, get there and grab I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a the trophy. Uh... Everyone has a story. Mine started 20 years ago in a small town called Augusta, Georgia. Along my journey to my goals, I make sure to enjoy the game I love with friends. We laugh, trash talk, and share stories. We make Saturdays our best day. This is a game I love. This is a game I live for. This is Saturday Force. When something's on your heart and mind, you gotta go all in and get it. We can never let our challenges become our excuses. As the marathon continues today, so do the combos, the grind, and the love of the game. What, what got you going in all of this, man? What got you into golf like that? I mean, to be honest, bro, like when I, it took me like, when I got in the league, that's when I really it started catching my interest. Like growing up, I was like, I never played no golf. Like the Tiger Woods. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, Just because right. he made golf look cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Love sure. Tiger Woods, but never really understood and never really grasped the concept for real other than like hitting the ball. Yeah. Then I just started getting out there. Actually, uh, my trainer up in um, New Hampshire, uh, Eric Kalineas and Dana Berry, right? Went golfing with those guys a couple of times, just training. Like they really played well. I just was out there, just whatever. Right, right, right. Hit, had a couple good hits, and I was like, I think I really want to play golf. There you are. You no know, father, <laughs> uh, future father-in-law, he played. Nice. So I went a couple times with him, oh, and then perfect. he was just like, yeah, I think I really like this. Yeah, that's perfect. And we here now. That's a, we, oh, yeah, we, we here now. Oh, we, we here cutting now. up. For sure. <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. For sure, my man. Just like for, for, the, for a question for you is like, like I know you say you've been playing golf for a while, right? But like right. when when you really started like in the sense of like, Man, I really want to play. I really want to be a professional golfer. Like, I really want to be that guy. Man, it's crazy because I played, you know, all these sports growing up and didn't really excel at any of them. I think my dad knew, you know, you ain't going to be a basketball player. You ain't going to be big enough to be a football player. Right. So that's what had him introduce me to the game. Mm. Um, and it just stuck. But what's crazy is, like, within a couple months, I knew that's all I wanted to do. Right. And I work, you know, when I started, you know, being from Augusta, everybody, all the kids played, everybody was really good. So right. I was really behind. I had, you know, poor equipment. You know, I was yeah. just kind of at a deficit, but I just outworked everybody. Right. And I got to a point to where in high school, I was one of the best kids in the county, uh, especially my junior and senior year. And so I ended up getting a scholarship. I went to Southern University. Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of burnt myself out in high school, just trying to yeah. you know get close Be to my great. peers yeah and then you get to school and you got all these distractions and you know it, it was tough and then after i finished you know school i really loved the game but i didn't have the means to really dedicate my time and right. effort into it so i had to i had to get a job you know right. and um i was selling paint um in rural louisiana i was assistant manager at a paint store in rural louisiana and i'll never forget one day man Nobody had been in the store for like four or five hours, and I'm in the store face this interstate, and I'm just looking at it, I'm like, man, this isn't it, you know, and it was a real yeah, coming to God moment, like, what do you want to do with your life? And I was like, you know, I want to be a professional golfer, but I didn't know how I was going to get to there. Right, right, right. Um, but I was like, first thing, I know I got to be at a golf course, because right. I got to be able to practice and play. And so I moved to Atlanta. Um, when I started at Atlanta Country Club, you know, I started in the cart barn. I was cleaning carts, picking up balls on the range. I was just trying to get experience so a year from then I could be like an instructor or right, right. an assistant golf professional. And I just came in, worked my tail off, and after about seven months, one of the assistant pros was getting out of the business and I asked to be considered for the job. And um, they ended up giving me an interview, I ended up getting it. And so once I became an assistant golf professional, I was able to practice on my game again and work at it. And it's crazy because after all this time, man, everything I've been doing is still try to get to that ultimate goal of, you know, playing professionally. And, you know, I've never in my life had a point to where all I, all I have to do is, is 
play golf. Right, 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 for my right, game. right. And right. you know, with my shoes and the show and everything, it's like for the first time I'm almost there. Like I could taste it, you right. know. And so right. I'm getting ready to make that jump, man, and uh, go all in, man. So it's <laughs> you. the marathon continues. Man, look, dog, no, look. <laughs> what's crazy is that, like, what just got me out of all that what you said. It was like. This, basically, despite everything, I, I'm just, I gotta outwork everybody. Got to. And like that's been my journey. Like Most no matter what room you put me in, whether I come out on top or not, McGill gonna be the one. That's the hardest working guy in the room. Yeah. And that's what we can stand on. But another crazy thing that you just mentioned, Southern. Yeah. Jaguars. Yeah, them Jags. Bro, that was the... my first offer. Come on. My first dog. Went to school that day. Yeah. My coach had called me on the way to school. He's like, hey, man, I think something's going to offer you. I'm fired up. Let's right, go. Right. They emailed the offer, dog. I, wow. He printed it off and gave it to me. I'm like, I think I'm going to be a Jaguar. Come cause. on. Come on. And, uh, you know, and the process started rolling and all the other schools started coming. But, sure. you know, that that's all it took. You know, just right. that, that little one opportunity, man. But, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm honored, bro, to, you know, to be out here with you today. Oh, bro. man, just, same, man. Actually, you know, learning a little more about you, learning that story. Yeah. And, the, you know, the the trials that you had to go through to get where you at, like, yeah. that's what it's about. Like, it's, people, only it's see, a, people only see this part. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, where, 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 yeah. you, where you've come. For not, sure. Not, the, not when you were sitting in that golf store looking at the highway, like, yeah, what yeah. am I going to do? You it's know been, what I'm it's saying? It's been a ride, man. It, yeah. it definitely had to happen overnight. It's been a ride. But, for you sure. know, I know when it happens for me, I'm going to appreciate it so much more, and I won't squander it. Right. You know, maybe if it would have happened at 25, I could, you know, would have squandered right. it, you know. Right. But um, I think it all happened. God had a plan, you know. Right. So we're going to keep at it, man. Man, let's rock. Hey, we're going to keep at it. Wherever potential leads you next, get there with speed. Get there with scale. Get there with a bank you trust. Synovus. Get there. Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. Save money on credit card processing with Payhawk, the payment industry's most customer-centric company. Let's go Payhawk. My Saturday wouldn't be complete without filling out my foursome. As we continued along, we were joined by Casey Hayward and Jonathan Jones. After hitting a couple shots, we spoke about their foundations and the importance of giving back to our community. Excited to have y'all out, man. You know, we're out here supporting Terrell, you know, and his foundation. And I know each one of y'all also have, like, you know, your own foundations, you know. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what y'all are what y'all are doing in the community and everything. Man, my, my foundation is called Hayward Hands. Um, I think we named it that, obviously, after my last name, but the hands part where we can be able to reach so many different, you know, people that need it. You know, if you, you know, you need clothes, you need a house, you need things like that. So we do scholarships. We do Christmas drives, we do Thanksgiving, uh, football camps, and a whole bunch of different little things that will help with get some homes as well. So uh, that's why we named it Hayward Hands, and we're just trying to reach as many people as possible. Man, I, I love that. John, and what do you kind of try to focus on in, in your foundation and like what you have going on? Uh, my foundation is the Jonathan Jones Next Step Foundation. Uh, we try to focus on the youth. You know, we advocate uh, for the youth. Um, through mentorship, leadership, um, and exposing them to different opportunities. Uh, get, uh, people, youth who don't have a lot of experience, um, a lot of opportunities, you know, our foundation try to reach out, you know, find those groups and, and bridge the gap. Most definitely, most definitely. And T.Y., you, you just get yours started up and, and going yeah, as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, T.Y. McGill Foundation, um, just pretty much like what these guys were talking about, do a lot of camps, uh, doing like a back to school, you know, give away book bags, pencils, papers, all that good stuff but uh but yeah that's pretty much how we how we move right love, in southeast I, georgia i love that man i love that man i um uh, you know i was i was telling to you i saw uh, a high school student i give golf lessons to here when we first got here today and he just got a scholarship to uh, maryland eastern shore man so to see like you know you helping people out and then, like doing something with it man it's there's no better feeling you know, I know especially somebody you help you, you get to really sure. see it right you know what i mean that's pretty dope yeah. right I, I think it's dope too like especially like when it's like your community you know what i'm saying like when you was that kid in that community growing up and you know exactly what they're going through as well. Yeah, it's definitely dope because we all from Georgia, so we put our little own 
you know, stamp on where we're from and just try to expand it as well. See somebody succeed, I mean, you feel like your, their success is your success. Yeah, you know, yeah, it make you feel real proud. Yeah, I, um, you know, I, I'll say this, you know, I've been teaching golf for a good while at Atlanta Country Club, and, you know, I, you know, I aspire, of course, to have this amazing show and these shoes and everything else, but, I, you know, I found that you don't have to be some type of famous person to give back and to really change people, change people's lives, you know, and it's, it's no better feeling. It's, it's no better feeling. You know, I saw you got your dad that old school, man. You know, I know that, that you probably felt just as good as he did when he got it. I know? did. I mean, like the joy, you know, he wanted the 442, something he'd always talked about, you know, me growing up. Um, and, you know, he poured into me, you know, he always says his greatest investment was into me, you know, with time, you know, making sure I made it to practice and things like that. So um, just being able to, you know, bring that full circle, you know, and, you know, give my pop something he always wanted, you know, meant a lot for me. I love that, man. My, um, my pops had a, a 68 Camaro, man. Man, and, uh, he had to sell it, you know, when I was young, you know, because he had responsibilities. But he always been talking about that car, man. One day I'm going to pull up in that driveway and get it to him, man. He going, yeah, 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 for sure. yeah, yeah, man, most definitely. Well, hey, man, we uh, we don't have the easiest hole in the world right, up ahead, right. you know, but I, I think we could do something with it, you know. I That's think we right. could do something with it, you know. The fellas and I definitely have our work cut out for us as we play this beautiful island green measuring 175 yards. Opportunity won't always come to you, but with Synovus as your bank, you can always go towards it. Synovus, get there. Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Save money on credit card processing with Payhawk, the payment industry's most customer-centric company. Let's go Payhawk. I be coming up with just random stuff, you know, if I see somebody swing, I just be like, all right, try this. I, like a lot of times, like if people topping it, I'll tell them to, um, I'll put a leaf under the ball mm -hmm. and I'll say, um, okay, I'm a, you see the leaf, I'm gonna put the ball on top, uh, go ahead and uh, hit the leaf under the ball. And that'll so, help so them. hit the leaf first. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, so I'll put it, I'll put it like, so it's here, I'll put a ball here and I was like, okay, make sure when you hit it, hit the ball, make sure you hit the leaf under the ball. Okay. And that help people. Keep get, down on yeah, the ground. Yeah, get down on the ground. Yeah, okay. man, so it's crazy the little stuff you kind of, kind of yeah. come up with over time, but. That's, 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 being, a, that's being a vet in the game. <laughs> that's what that is, that's what that is. Yes, indeed. Being a vet in the game. So, so, hey man, you a vet, you know, you coming up on year eight, man, yeah. in the league, started in Seattle, you know what I'm saying? Moved around a little bit, man. Like, what's your, what's your key to consistency, man, and just working and, and, and staying hungry, you know, all these years? I mean, my, my, pretty much my why has just been my family, you know, and like, from the get go, you know, it's been my family in terms of mom, dad, you know, my grandmother, before she left, she got to see me go to the league. That's she awesome. didn't understand, she thought I was drafted, but right, right, right. it was Same all thing. good. I let her, all, yeah. I let her have that, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? But but now it's just, it's the same though, but with more, like now I have my two daughters, uh, my fiance, Sarah, um, uh, G and Remy. So now it's like, you know, that's my why. That's your but why. But it's still family. For sure. And uh, that process has been, it hasn't been smooth, to you know, to say the least. Uh, going back again, I have a, a great support system um, from my mom to my fiance. Uh, just her being with me, uh, my fiance going from every every city I got released from. Right. She was at the house already packing up, trying to get her to the next spot. Man. While I'm already on the plane going to the that's next love. spot. That's love. That's love. So that's love. something I ain't got to worry about. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So right. that just that just kept driving me. Right. Like, keep going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I mean that that's just that's just pretty much what I love. Other than the fact that I just love the game. 
You know what I'm saying? Country boy, just of Georgia. For sure. Come on, man. We that's how we do with play ball. You, <laughs> play it ball. It don't matter what kind of ball it was. You give us a water bottle, we'll right. turn it into a football. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? right. So that's just that's just pretty much where 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 it's been. You know how the foundation been laid, but yeah, that support that support is real. That support, yeah, that's where it's at. I, I find like even when people can't like maybe give you things to help support you even that just word of encouragement Man. is so big I, I tell my friends thank you all the time like right. you know i came out with my shoes earlier this year and um ah. You know, appreciate it, man. Pre appreciate it, man. It's just like, man, you know, half the people, you know, they looking like, why are you doing this? You know, right, are you right. crazy? And then, you know, trying to meet deadlines, trying to get everything together, man, it's a lot. But like when people, either my friends or even people I don't know, be like, man, keep going, love right, what you're you doing, it, brother, brother, you like, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, it go a it long, long way. way. It, it go like, a long way. Just to chime back, like, on my experience, like, you know, this is my eighth year, been on like eight teams. Uh, but every team I went on, for the most part, like the big guys in the room, you know what I'm saying? Like the all pro guys would be the ones telling me like, hey, bro, you deserve to be here. Like, That's keep, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the Mike Bennett's of the league, the Melvin Ingrams, the Brandon Meebangs, like right. those, like hearing that from them, it don't matter what nobody else say now, nah, because I know that they know what it looked like. Right. You for know sure. what I'm saying? So it, yeah. I, I understand that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, Most that definitely. process that process has been real, but I've been I've been enjoying it though for sure. That's what's up. Yeah, you fall in love with it, makes yeah, it a little bro. bit make the ground a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, no doubt. And you understand it, you appreciate it. For sure. And I and I and I get that. Like I appreciate the trials and the tribulations that I went through to get to where I'm at now. Most and definitely. the fact that I'm still here. Yeah, man. Like, as I'm it's yeah. wild. Yeah, it's still wild, here, man. still doing your still thing. Still doing it. I love it. Feeling good, too. And now I got you out on the golf course. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> now I'm finna conquer this. Come on. Yeah, well, let's, let's hit something close, see what let's we got. Let's do it, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. T.Y. and I were putting in work trying to win the scramble, supporting the Terrell Adams Foundation Tournament. But we all know how that can go at these events sometimes. That's all right, we got a par five coming up. We about to eagle this thing. Let's go. We definitely need a couple of them. To yeah, yeah, get us in the game. Yeah, I don't know what these boys out here shooting for real, but. Right. You know they're going to come in at 54, 55 right. or something. Like they done birded every home. <laughs> no you, doubt. You know they're going to come. Hey, we just got to, you know. No doubt. We just got to get in the game. For real, bro, it's just like, like eight years of this game, and it's like, feel great, still ready to rock, good shape, but it's like undrafted. Yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. You know, still ain't signed like a major deal, so it's like that's kind of solidifying here. Yeah, you hear, you know, boom, always, always on the bubble. You know, guy outside looking in, trying to make the team, but shit, right now it's not nah, never, dog. Like, right, right. Shit, For I'm sure. pushed them all in there now. Yeah, better than myself. Like, I got to the point. Where I was like, well, shoot, man. I told myself last year I was in Minnesota. I was like, shit, if I don't get two games, I ain't play. I ain't play a game. All season, went to Minnesota. I'm like, if I don't play two games this year, dog, I think this might be. Bro, I played the last two games of the season. Wow, wow. The last two games of the season. Wow, man. that's crazy. And played well. You played well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, causing turnovers, like, and I'm like, damn, I, I said it. Like, if I didn't play these two games, like, I was going to be it. Mm -hmm. So I played them two games, and I'm like, I got to keep going. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. But what was that build up like? You going all week by week by week, Bruh. not in the game like. Bro, tough. Yeah. Cause I started in Philly, had a great camp, great preseason. Like in the articles, they like, hey man, if you don't know who T.Y. McGill is, you gonna know him now. Right. Whoop the woo. Like. Right. They they counted me in, then I got COVID. Oh. Like two games after the last game, man. after the last preseason game, and they say that's what you know that's what the cause of why I didn't make it. Wow. Cause I missed the whole week one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then I went home for a little bit, just training, just trying to keep the mental together. Then got over in Minnesota. Then it was just like, I knew I wasn't gonna play until somebody got hurt because that's just how I go down. Right, when you right. come off the street and get in, you just mm -hmm. gotta wait your turn. Right. And I was like, shit, man, man, I don't even know how this is gonna play out. Like, right. I talked to God, I was like, look, if I don't get these two games, man, this is gonna be. And they you came. Know. Wow, like, that's crazy. So you gotta turn up. Got to, I got to. You got to. I got, you got to. to cut up. I'm told you, I'm pushed them in, cause come on, it's on, dog. Hey, it we, is we, on. We gon' we gonna keep going at it, bro. For sure.
Yeah, bro. Now I never. That's the. Yeah. Hey, now that's I the, never. Now I never. Yeah. Nah, I never. That's definitely the model. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, man. No doubt. I appreciate you, man. No doubt. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. We'll do it again. Come on with it. So, yeah, let me. A special thank you to the Terrell Adams Foundation. To learn more and donate, visit TerrellAdamsFoundation.com. Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Save money on credit card processing with Payhawk, the payment industry's most customer-centric company. Let's go Payhawk.